I'm Tanner Ortley, number two, and I play guard. What I want to get from this season is to just make all the younger guys better and build a nice atmosphere and good name for Sturgis. Uh, my name is Ridge Inhofer, number 14, guard. I think the expectations for this season are really just to play hard and focus on giving it all on the court. Hi, I'm Carson Pankratz. I'm number 32. Uh, this year we're just focused on trying to get better every play and put our best effort on every game in practice. Hey, we're visiting with Darius Bust, the Scoopers head boys basketball coach. Brand new season and uh, you know from the middle school to the high school looks like got a lot of boys out. Yeah our numbers are good right now. Uh, you know we've, we've got uh, 38 kids out at the high school level. Um, good chunk of freshmen, got a nice group of freshmen. You know our smallest classes are probably our sophomores and our seniors but you know we, we still have we have four seniors but you know they started with only six when they were freshmen, so we've we've retained those guys for the most part. And then uh, our sophomores, you know, we, we've got about five, six, seven sophomores. We got seven sophomores on the roster, um, and so good numbers for us. And then uh, yeah, got a good group of freshmen and good group of juniors uh, for numbers. Coach, going into the season, are your starting five uh, pretty solid, uh, or is that kind of fluid? You know, right now we, we play about nine, ten guys for the most part. We're probably pretty solid at nine. Um, we rotate a little bit with starters based off on matchups and stuff. But, you know, we, we have our four seniors, Connor Burnt, Carson Pankratz, and uh, Tanner Orlieb and Ridge and Hofer. Those guys all play some minutes, valuable minutes for us. And then we have, uh, you know, we have our juniors uh, that give us some minutes, Dyson Peterson, Jake Gleam. Gavin Leitenberg, Owen Cass, uh, those those four guys also give us some good solid minutes. And and Connor Crookshank, another junior that could possibly get some minutes as well down the road. And then our two sophomores that play quite a bit, um, Ty and Buss and Aiden Hederman, give us some solid minutes there as well. So, you know, we're at that ten, pretty nine, ten, pretty solid. And uh, we, we like to kind of mix it up. We're, we feel we're pretty versatile, um, but we just got to do a little better job of. Uh, the little things, and as we as we had our first two games here, and those those little things we gotta get better at. We'll do that. Being a multi-sport athlete is important, and I'm, I'm hearing a lot of football names. Yeah, they all uh, you know they all are multi-sport guys, and uh, you know they're competitors too. They play hard. I, I've really been pleased with how hard they've played up to this point. They practice hard. Uh, you know, just gotta. We're, we're not real skilled, but you know, just basketball skill and and. Um, a lot of guys do a lot of things, and you know, some guys are sports baseball, and some guys it's football, and you know, some guys it's basketball, but uh, others could be track. Um, but we just got to, we just got to do the little things better when you're not real skilled, like some of the teams we will face this year. Expecting some tough competition within the conference this year? Uh, yeah, you know, within our conference, I think the clear-cut favorites, St. Thomas More, um, they're very solid in depth, and then they've got a lot of kids have been playing together for a while, so. And you know our conference Bell is obviously Bell and Spearfish. Uh, we've played them the last two two games, and and they're you know very formidable as well. And and uh, we we'll we feel that we can compete with those teams. So I think the conference is going to be very competitive. And how about non-conference? Well, non-conference we have a tough stretch here coming up. Um, you know we play Pier and Aberdeen this weekend, and then Rhapsody Stevens on Tuesday. And Pier and Aberdeen are two of the best teams in Class AA in the state. And uh, it, it'll be a tough road trip for us, and then you throw in Stevens, who's always a tough rivalry for us. Um, and then we play here on a Mitchell Yankton, so we've got a we've got a, our work cut out for us here, uh, especially in the next week or so. All right, coach, thanks for taking time to visit with us. You bet, not a problem. Thank you.